first try an example to check for the buckling resistance of the stiffener. Again, referring to the same questions that we did in our previous video, you are now to ask to check for the buckling resistance of this stiffener. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first we need to determine the slenderness ratio of the member to know whether there will be any reductions in terms of the axial resistance. The slenderness ratio is obtained by using these equations where you require air equivalent and also the critical axial loads. The equation for the critical axial loads is given here. It requires an equivalent second moment of inertia and also an effective length of the stiffener. So with that, we need to compute all these value in order for us to be able to determine the slenderness ratio of the member. To determine the effective length of the stiffener, it is obtained by multiplying 0.75 HW, which eventually you get this value. As for the equivalent area of the stiffeners and the wet, this equation is adopted. The equation is graphically presented here. And then next, the equivalent second moment of inertia is obtained by using these equations. The second moment of inertia here is referring to a rotational in this axis. From there, we obtain the equivalent area and also the second moment of inertia. Then, we can compute the critical axial force and this to be substituted into the equations. It is found that the, second, the slenderness ratio is less than 0 0.2. That means the member is not vulnerable under buckling. Next, we check for the end stiffener. Assuming that the stiffeners provided at the end of the beam is the same as the stiffeners that provided throughout the members. The dimensions are given here. And again, we need to determine the slenderness ratio. And from the slenderness ratio, we need NCR. And in the NCR, we require the I and also the effective length. For the end stiffener, the effective area is given here. Therefore, the equations for the effective area and also the second moment of initials will be slightly different than the intermediate stiffener. Substitute the relevant value, you will obtain the value here. You may check against the NCR and you found that the slenderness ratio again is less than 0 0.2 that means both the intermediate stiffener and also the end stiffener they are having the slenderness ratio less than 0 0.2 that means the axial resistance is not reduced due to the buckling next you determine the Asia resistance of the member. When there is no buckling, that means the chi will be equal to 1.0. And in this case, the Asia resistance of the member it will be the area multiplied the U strength divided by the factor of safety. It is to be compared with the shear resistance of the member and it is found to be less than 1.0 for the ratio that means the resistance is greater than the load and the axial resistance of the end stiffener is considered acceptable